Hello everyone, Abdul here and I'm back with another part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot XS or the Huge Adventure in the US. And in this part, we're gonna be entering just in Slime, level 5, and our first boss which is gonna be Dingo Dial after, fin after when we finish this level. And I, for I forgot to mention that this is part 3, which is a bit good, because it's, uh, it's kinda weird since I since this game is actually really easy and an early bonus round wow and not to mention that there's also another sewer level that ha that's also that also has an an early bonus round just like 65 crates in the bonus round which is crazy this this um, bonus round has 47 crates okay, I don't care about the life and this, and I also forgot to mention that this level has 134 crates, which is like crazy. Yeah, the beginning of the game, well, the first few levels, has like many boxes, like this level. Easy bonus round, not that hard. Just gonna blow by themselves, and we just an early early bonus runs to like a bit weird but yeah it's how the game rolls in the GPA version this is also sewer level and uh, don't I think I mentioned that yeah I did mention that and also the, when you fight the bosses well every boss here is a bit different well I think except for tiny so yeah Dingo Dial is a different boss which is gonna be fought underwater and it's a good thing that I got an Akaku and invincibility here because I'm not in the mood to go I'm, in the, I'm not in the mood to backtrack for, the, for that just one simple crate or life and I think we got more invincibility I hope yeah we got more invincibility which I'm just spamming the I'm just spamming it. Is this gonna finish up? <laughs> I just spam the right arrow, right key, whatever it's called. Right arrow movement, whatever. <laughs> Forward. <coughs> mm -hmm. Music is also a bit remixed and similar to the in Crash 2, but it's remixed. And it's a good thing that there's no death root in this uh, level. And now we're entering Dingo Dial, which is gonna be fought underwater. And he also has a shield where he can um, protect himself, whatever, until he hits himself with these rocks. And there's also a trick where you can avoid these rocks, well except the shark above, you can just go here on the top corner of the boss or level, or the screen I think, you can just go go here on the top of the corner near the rocks, even if he hits you right next to your leg or crashes leg, you won't, it won't affect you. <coughs> just, yeah, that's a bit glitch, a bit of glitch in the boss fight, well this boss fight anyway doesn't take that long, it's an easy boss fight, he only has a health bar of 3 tries. Don't mind the sharks, just hit the first one and you're safe. And yeah, the re it's also remixed into an underwater version. And I don't know why he's not hitting, oh no, he's hitting. Pfft. Dial, and it's a bit odd how his flamethrower doesn't have flame, which is kind of weird since it hit missiles. Isn't that engine's job? Oh, it's a bit odd. And there's our power up. And there's our super body slam power up, which is the same as in Tiny, but in this case, you fight Dingo Dial to get it. And Coco's talking to us. Oh wait, Cortex. Pfft. Let's read this. Middling marsupial. 
you got lucky this time. My henchmen won't be easy on you in the future. In the future, I think. I think I messed up his voice. <laughs> oh, look. So yeah, we basically just finished the entire first warp room or warp zone. I think it's called warp zone. Since this isn't a room, it's like a zone. Anyways, I'm, we just finished the first warp zone. As you, and you all know that there are 20 levels, so there are 4 warp zones or warp rooms. So yeah, and we just finished the dial as usual. In the next part, we're gonna be going to Snow Crash and Rocket Racket. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, the name's Abdul, hope you enjoyed this part, and see you in part 4. Peace everyone. Thanks for watching, and peace.